What's up guys? Today is going to be a different video and currently you're watching Battlefield 1 gameplay. I may or may not add music and if you hear it then I did. But I might not. But this video is going to be, and if you read the title, it's going to be about video game news. Honestly, for this channel I just want to like kind of mix things up. I don't want to do the same thing over and over over again. I want to be a writing game, variety gaming channel. And so I thought why not just do like video game news. So right off the bat let's talk about something that everybody knows about and that's Pokemon Go so the Pokemon Do, uh, Do Pokemon Go dev is thinking of PvP battles, so player, player versus player uh, battles uh, with Apple Watch support and Android devices like such as like if there's like a some kind of watch for Android devices which I don't know if there is or there will be I don't really pay attention to Android but on other news Resident Evil 7 has no microtransactions. It's very common for big AAA games to have microtransactions just to get that single penny out of your pocket, just like every other company tries. And another big thing if you're a big Call of Duty fan and you like boxing, Connor McGregor is in COD. That's interesting, honestly. Like, I wouldn't have thought them for something, someone like him to like go into voice acting, but that, that's cool. I like that. That's cool. He tweeted, uh, in which I'll put uh, the picture of, Connor tweeted, he also noted to look out for September 15, which is today, for an announcement of Call of Duty in some kind. Uh, and speaking of Call of Duty, CEO Bobby Kotix, sorry if I said that wrong, uh, ran to Activision after they bankrupt, which I will have to put that on the screen when that happened. And just recently, he stated that there will always be Call of Duty games. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Honestly, I'll just let you figure that out. In my, if my opinion mattered, I would say it is, but it isn't. If they're going down the same route as far as futuristic bullshit, no, it's not. It's not good. But if they start going back to their roots or they're going back to like Modern Warfare kind of stuff, or if they're changing it up, that would be nice, I guess. Hopefully. And... Another thing which happened a few days ago, iOS 10 uh, has been causing a lot of conflict. I know this isn't video games, but it's on the, it's on the, like, you know, it's kind of, it's in the same topic, I guess. You just, just, just go with it. But iOS 10 has been causing a lot of problems recently. Apple said they fixed it, but did they? Honestly, I know my phone is a little slower, but after the iPhone 7 was announced, my phone started slowing down. Doesn't that not... That's not a coincidence. That's not a coincidence. Don't tell me it is, because I'm not convinced. There's no way that's a coincidence. <laughs> but yeah, like... And for Assassin's Creed franchise sold 100 million copies. They hit that uh, milestone of 100 million copies. That is a lot of people. Think about PewDiePie times 2, and that's not even 100 million. You gotta still add 8 million. Or, wait, is he at 47? I think he's at 47. This would be an extra 6 million people still not even there. Hitting a milestone of 100 million of anything, that is just fucking awesome. Good for Ubisoft, honestly, like, seriously. And on topic of Assassin's Creed, they announced the Exia Collection, which we all saw that coming. Honestly, I saw that coming, because coming, there's no Assassin's Creed being announced this year. Whether it even came out this year, the same year they would announce it, we're not even having one. So it, it, it had to be happening, because apparently next year they're also be coming out with Assassin's Creed Empire, I think is supposed to be, it's be called, and it's supposed to be in like Egypt times, which that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, this is just the first video for video game news, I know it's not something I do regularly, I know I have like 19 videos or something up, but I just wanted to change things, change things up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I spent a lot of time uh, writing and making and editing this video. I haven't even got done editing. Like I literally just started making this, but I have, I got some images. I got all this. I got some screenshots and all that. And it took me a few hours to write this. And yeah, you would say like this is like a four minute, five minute video. How would it take you that long? Well, it did because I, <sighs> I crumpled up four pieces of papers before this one. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links will be in the description as usual, and if you want to join Team Eccentric, the link will be down in the description to their Instagram. Click the click the link in the bio to their Instagram, and so on and so forth. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.